also the cat. Um, yeah, you should. Because <laughs> uh, the cat is, in my opinion, like it's basically perfect uh, in the sense that you know we have real actors for this movie, not a not an exercise again in marketing. I mean, everyone's like. I don't know who everyone is, but people are like, there's no stars in this movie. No one's going to go to it. You know, and I, and I, well, and I don't know, just be different, but there, I made a movie called 300 and had no stars in it either. <laughs> One thing I do like is that, you know, I was pretty much duped by the, um, by the press. I was supposed to announce the cast here, and uh, that was my fan. But um, people, I guess people like Watchmen, and uh, <laughs> it's not like I make a movie where, like, no one cares who's in the movie, which is bad. But, uh, so they care enough to go, no, not me, we're going to tell everybody, anyway, before you. Um, and so there has been some comments about the cat being young, uh, younger than they are in the graphic novel. But with my, in the graphic novel, if you've read it and if you haven't, I don't know what you're doing here. Um, <laughs> there is, uh, there's a lot of flashbacks in the movie. What I didn't want to do was ask uh, two actors. I would find that really distracting in the movie when you cut to an actor and go, now who that again? Is he definitely that's the young version? Or you have to do the shot and you see the eyes and then you dissolve the screen and the Oh right, that's the eyes older, right, so begin the movie again. Um, and so I, I just didn't feel like that was the thing I wanted to um, see. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to um, uh, hire actors that I felt like were in the middle of their age and then age them up and down uh, depending on what's happening, you know? Like, um, we have, in the movie, for instance, so I'll get up to this a little bit. Um, Dr. Manhattan is going to be played by Billy Cruda. <laughs> Billy, uh, Billy is going to be basically, the idea for the Manhattan character is to do him as a when he's Billy, when he's the young John, he's basically going to be uh, just Billy. <laughs> and then when he becomes Manhattan, it's going to be basically, he's going to be like sort of a full uh, 3D CG version of him with like, with his face and performance scan, sort of like uh, a version of uh, Iron American style. And my feeling about that was that the last thing I wanted to see was some guy with blue paint on him. And though that had been discussed, trust me, uh, the, I just felt like Manhattan needed to be more than a man and needed to uh, sort of be in scale and be able to really glow and be able to really, when he grows to 200 feet and he's like trauma through the jungle of Vietnam, you got to like buy back and believe in And that was, that was uh, sort of the way we started to think about that. We've done some tests and it's looking pretty cool, I think. Um, so, and, and in the case of Billy, he's pretty much the age we find him, uh, you know, 59 and, and uh, you know, flat. Then we have, you know, Patrick Wilson, he's going to play Dan. Yeah. And then is, and Patrick is uh, also ages a little bit in the movie. He'll be slightly older in the movie than he is in real life. But uh, Patrick's amazing and he's a super cool guy. And, you know, he's just, like a long time. Not a great guy like that. And Dan has a question. He's awesome about him. Um, the comedian is going to be played by a guy named Jeffrey D. Morgan. Jeffrey is, uh, again, 
we see Jeffrey, we see me in some basically 19, which is a stretch for Jeffrey. <laughs> but thank God I have technology on my side. Um, to, I guess he's in his 60s, in his mid 60s at the end. Um, or the beginning, actually. <laughs> But, uh, and so, again, that was the sort of thinking, and you see basically, you know, you see the comedian throughout his whole life, you know, and you see him in Vietnam, you see him uh, during the riots, you see him all over the place, so you really, I needed the guy again that I felt like. Also, when you see the comedian at the end of his life, he's still freaking yoked, and he's still like a deal, like, he's not just some guy, he's still a man. Um, then, uh, Hollis is going to be played by a guy named Stephen McCaddy, who was in 300 and in the history of violence. Uh, really? He's uh, a good buddy of mine and he's super cool. And, uh, I didn't know they were going to put him in the movie. Also, uh, and I guess this is a little bit of a surprise, uh, I have with me, um, just thought I'd bring a couple people out. I have, um, Marlon Ackerman with me here who's going to play Lori.